Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, a few uh, bits of uh, interesting tests that have been done lately seem to show a, a trend that is quite interesting. So there were a couple of enthusiasts. There was also a few websites that made performance tests and compared Windows 10, Windows 11 on new machines. So we're not talking about the older machines. We're really talking about a PC that you would go today and buy uh, with Windows 11 pre-installed on it. So, you know, and I think I've seen that every time there was a new version, there was this uh, tendency of people wanting to go back to older systems. Uh, I've seen that in uh, every version of Windows. And I've always resisted that um, pretty much because um, I always think that whether you like it or not, you better, you're better staying with the latest version so that you have the maximum amount of support before having to move on to something else. Because if you go back to 10, in 2025, you'll have to go to 11. Anyways, at least. So, and when you buy a new PC, it's always, you know, just, just use it the way it is. It, it's been optimized most of the time for the Windows version you have. But there's a new study of different performance tests done that actually show that Microsoft and Intel worked really closely in the last few years in integrating and making sure that the performance of Windows and Intel CPUs is always optimized to the fastest speeds possible. And what happens is the latest generations of Intel CPU, that performance was done with Windows 11, but not with Windows 10. And what happens is that many of the new PCs out there test show that they are much faster or or faster at least than Windows 10 PCs running on the same hardware. And they say that the reason is because of that optimization that was done specifically between Windows 11 and the latest CPUs. And this uh, these performance tests have been done to totally independent from different uh, enthusiasts, from different researchers, that have nothing to do and don't really care about Windows 11 or Windows 10 versus Microsoft versus anything. They're totally independent, not paid for by anybody. And so they are uh, to be trusted, I, 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 would, I would say. And not just that, it's, it's not surprising to me that if you have the latest Intel CPUs and machines that you just purchased uh, that have that, uh, that the performance on Windows 11 uh, would be better in in many ways than it would be on Windows 10 with the latest CPUs. Now that also uh, shows because they have done the same tests with older machines. And past a certain time, um, a little bit before Windows 11 arrived, that difference isn't really there anymore. So for the most part, what they say is that on older hardware, Windows 10 is optimized and works as fast as Windows 11 does. It's really, really on the latest hardware that that difference shows up. And like I said, it probably uh, is something that they worked on. Um, usually Microsoft works very closely, especially with Intel, on making sure that things are optimized to the max. So if you're getting that new PC with Windows 11, Keep it on Windows 11. It's pretty much what they say because it will actually perform much better. And one side that they did test is gaming. And that gaming is definitely to be uh, kept on Windows 11 on new machines because it is much faster. And already a lot of gamers, even on Steam, even on older hardware, seem to like Windows 11 better for gaming purposes if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.